Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is many of True Nerd, and welcome to Frostpunk. Now, Frostpunk was made by the guys who made this war of mine, which is good enough for me already, because that is generally regarded to be a very well-beloved game. But, ooh, this one tickles my fancy a little bit more. I played this war of mine. I thought it was pretty good. I liked a lot of ideas about it, but I didn't get into it personally. But this, this ticks my boxes a little bit more, because rather than being about three people sitting around in a suspiciously large house and crying a lot, this is actually basically... It's kind of a city builder. It's been the icy apocalypse, and as a result, you've basically got a group of people sitting around a cold generator in the middle of nowhere, just waiting to die, and you've literally got to build a city, but still making horrendously difficult choices, and sending people to their deaths, and basically doing horrible, horrible, morally choice things. And ooh, I like the sound of that. Though, should point out, work in progress, demo, bugs and imperfections are present. Game not yet complete, adjust expectations accordingly. Basically, forgive it, this is an extremely early version they've been kind of let me see now, but ooh, this looks like my sort of thing. It's one of those games where I sat down to check if it ran for like five minutes, and then I played it for an hour instead. So uh, yeah, one of those. Those are always good. Welcome to the Icy Apocalypse, which is basically just, I think it's like 80 odd people. Yeah, okay, let's just hang on, fight the cold. Yes, I know. I'm just going to pause time for a second. So this is literally it. This is the city we're starting off with. We're basically in a frozen over sinkhole. This is our entire universe for the time being, and I've just got 80 people sitting around here, around this lovely little generator here. We start off with, yes, one generator that's currently cold because there's no flipping fuel for the damn thing, and next to it, one little stockpile thing here. So basically, yeah, where I can just store some stuff. So I've got the capacity cold, how much Actually, can hold quite a bit. I can hold like 900 coal and 300 wood and whatever, and I've got a whole bunch of people. So, the people I've got are down here. So I've got 50 idle workers, I've got 15 idle specialists. Specialists are interchangeable. You know, they can be doctors one day, and inventors the next. They're marvellous. They're very flexible individuals and 15 idle children who are just bloody useless. So basically, I've got to get them doing a thing. Now, the generator only works while it's got coal. So obviously, we need to keep that going. It's extremely cold, minus 20 degrees C. So the priority is basically getting these people some food and getting these people some coal. So let's just find some coal dots around here because for the time being, we just need to literally send workers over and grab coal off the ground. We'll need to get more advanced in time because this is just to start us off. Like over here, uh, there's some coal deposits, but we're actually going to need a mine to extract it. Because it's like underground, and over here we've got some... Um, what's this? That's iron ore, so we'll need to build a steelworks nearby to start the extraction there. So for the time being, we just need to forage what's on the ground. So, go to a coal pile. There's 500 coal here, and I can set workers on that. So I will absolutely do that straight away, because we desperately need, you know, coal as fast as possible. So I'm just going to max that out and say 15 of my workers. Now working to efficiency 100%. Actually, they probably shouldn't, because that's... Oh, no, sorry. That's not coal. That's wooden crates. Fine. Because, uh, yeah, there's just a bunch of wreckage and whatever sitting around here. Wood wouldn't hurt either, though, as that wood's pretty close by. Yeah, I'm also going to get 15 workers on that. And I've got 20 workers available now. Basically, I just want my workers... Like, the first thing we need to do is just gather as much basic raw materials as possible. What else is close by? That is some wood there, but not much. Because, yeah, wooden crates isn't going to be worth much. That's some steel wreckage. It wouldn't hurt to have a little bit of steel coming in. This is pretty darn close. Uh, let's just have... Uh, Let's have 10 people just doing the steel there. And yeah, it tells you how much you're going to be bringing in. So 2.7 steel per in-game hour. Uh, the game has a little calendar. So yeah, now they're going to work from, I think like... 8 a.m. or something for about like 10 hours till 6 p.m. Then they'll have some free time where they're just like chilling out doing their own things and social problems emerge. Then they'll go to sleep for a bit and then they'll just basically get up and get on with work again. What's this over here by the way? That's ah frozen trees. So uh, yeah if there's some wood just sitting around we can use that but other than that we'll actually need to like build a sawmill if we want to extract frozen trees. So there's some basic resources lying around then we'll need to start getting technology e. Uh, what else do we need here? You've already been gathered. That's steel wreckage too. I could do with some more wood, to be honest. Where have we got wood? That's just wooden crates. Ah, I see the problem here. So basically, yeah, there's not that much wood sitting around. There's a fair bit of coal just sitting around. Enough to get us started at least. And speaking of which, we should probably just as that coal. Oh yeah, there's plenty of coal for the time being. I've got still got ten of you. Yeah, we'll go for... We'll go for 10 of those guys over there. We should also just get some more wood in. So I'm going to send basically all my engineers out to do that. Because for the time being, engineers don't have anything more important to do. So I'm just going to say, you guys, get on with that now. And everyone gets on their way and starts doing that. With the exception of the children. They can't work, or at least they can't work just yet. 
Because that's where the horrendous moral choice system comes into effect, where you start thinking about what horrendous things you need to do in order to survive. So as everyone starts wandering out into the snow there, let's look at the Book of Laws, where basically we have to figure out how to actually fight hunger, boredom, sickness, and the human condition. <laughs> fight the human condition, marvellous. So basically, we need to make choices. And sometimes, yeah, you choose between different options. So uh, if I wanted to, I could say, hey, there's probably some jobs that my 15 children could be getting on with, because that's a lot of pairs of hands just be sitting around camp not doing anything all day. So this would mean, yeah, in safe jobs inside, we won't send them out into the wilderness, but in safe jobs around the city, they could actually do some useful stuff for us. Alternatively, so I think you can only sign one of these two, because they're kind of alternatives, I could set up child shelters where children will be safer if they stay in child shelters during the day and they won't cause any mischief. So that will mean as a result I need to build a new building which eats into my resources and the children won't be able to work but it will increase hope. So if we just kind of go out here, you'll see at the bottom, we've got ourselves a hope and a discontent meter. If discontent gets too high, then understandably, basically, there'll be an insurrection and it's game over because nobody likes you anymore. Whereas if hope goes up, actually, I'm not sure what happens if hope is really high. I'm assuming workers are more efficient, but I haven't actually tested that yet. I know that discontent being maxed out is basically a non-conventional game over, pretty much, as everyone hates you and there's, you know, catastrophic problems and whatever. So we need to figure out if there's a law we particularly need. And we need to prioritise for the time being, yeah, getting in coal and also food. We start off with 20 raw food up there. People would prefer not to eat that, they prefer to eat food rations. Now if we want to convert uh, food into food rations, then we're actually going to need to construct a... hang on over to... Uh, food. We're going to need a cookhouse. Now that requires 20 wood and I've got 20 wood. Marvellous. So we should start off with that. And this is where the city builder thing starts coming into effect, because basically I'm building stuff around the outside of this starting street. Now if I want to, let's just get that in there, marvellous. If I want to, I could also build streets, so I could literally build a street like out between these two buildings and start a second tier of streets back here and actually have a proper city layout. But the generator, when it activates, is only going to warm the immediate area. I'm going to need a more advanced generator or loads of coal to make it heat out like a second tier of buildings around here. So for the time being, I'm just going to build buildings like right around the central plaza then they'll all be heated and that will be absolutely fine so we've got a cookhouse coming in but that's eaten a large amount of wood but that will convert this raw food into actual food rations so that's fine so let's get things started off there and also i need to check here does that build it no that actually can't be built by itself because there's no one actually sitting around to actually build that yet. So I need to actually take some people off their day-to-day -day duties to build the cookhouse. So in which case, what's least important right now? I'm going to reduce that by 10. So that's going to mean five people are now going to head back to camp and they can build that building. And also this has popped up, meaning I now have to make a choice. Child labour, sir, there's so much to do and not enough hands to do it. Maybe we should consider putting children to work. Yes, indeed, the game is flagging the laws to me. Now, I'm going to be honest, that one sort of appeals. Getting the children in the cookhouse, when that's actually available, that strikes me as a decent idea. Yes, actually, because then we don't need to take people off their other day-to-day -day jobs. That's, yeah, okay, fine. I'm going to sign child labour, but only for safe jobs. So the children can just handle the cooking. However, hope has just gone down a bit because that was a controversial decision. Kids should learn, not work. Well, they can't learn right now. There's no bloody school. They're just sitting around the bloody generator. Bloody hell. Right, also, this thing's ready to be turned on. So we've got some coal in right now. So, activate level one. And then we can see with heat vision, well, one, it's telling me I've got nine hours worth of coal, but that's fine. We're gathering more right now, and we've got plenty of work time yet. So I've got loads of people gathering that. And also the generator stress level. Okay, that shouldn't be... Why is that on right now? The generator stress should not be going up here. No, it's going down. Okay, fine. The overdrive is like turning the key in the ignition or something. So, okay, right now we've got 13 hours of coal. We've got plenty of coal coming in. And yeah, the generator gets stressed. If you put into overdrive uh, when you want to, that kind of increases the temperature. You see we've kind of got a little sign that if people are away from this area, it's in blue and it's very cold. But around here and in these buildings, everything's fine. And now my workers have got back over here. They're building that. Lovely. And the temperature is comfortable, prevents getting sick. But people will get sick and frostbite and whatever while they're out here working. Like, later in the game, I can build, like, little outposts of generators to provide heat around, like, say if I built, like, a big mine over here, I'd probably want to build a little generator over there. But we are gathering coal pretty quickly, and now we've got enough coal 
for 16 hours, which is very, very good indeed. And we're getting in plenty of wood. Good. Now we need to deal with the food situation, because sure, we've got a cookhouse coming in, and momentarily we'll convert these rations into cooked food with some children that are assigned to work in the cookhouse. But, you know, those rations are going to go down pretty quickly. That raw food is going to be the equivalent of 40 rations. And people need to eat pretty bloody quickly. Hang on, remind me of the calculation here tutorial. Every citizen eats one food ration per day. Oh, bloody hell. Well, what counts as a citizen? Because <laughs> we've only got 40 bloody rations and we've got bloody 80 people. Right, so we may just have a new priority here. We need to get some new food coming in right flipping now. So, Hunter's Hut is good for that sort of thing. Let's get a Hunter's Hut in production right flipping now. Apparently that's an invalid location. Oh, oh no, I've already placed it because there's already one down. Right, that's fine. Get time ticking along here. Hunters, when assigned to this sort of role, they can actually start, you know, going out and finding new raw food. Then the cookhouse converts into food rations and everything will be absolutely fine. These people are... It's nice and grim, isn't it? It's got a bit of the old This War of Mine complete grimness. People just basically, you know, dragging their feet through the snow, picking up coal and just bringing it back here. But it's all worthwhile because, yes, the generator is in good flipping shape. And if I want to keep the generator on all day, it's going to actually take me, okay, 144 coal a day. That's absolutely fine. So, the stress in the generator is fine. People are all nice and toasty and warm. Now, they don't have shelter yet. Right now, they just have to basically bunk down and just go to sleep next to the generator. But as long as they're warm and as long as they've got food. Ah, and hang on. We've actually got our cookhouse done now. Yes, I know about basic survival. Thank you very much indeed. Children! Good news, five children are now going to start working there. I'm guessing children aren't that efficient, to be honest, but I'm sure it's absolutely fine. So, children are now working in the cookhouse right over there. Lovely. So, the children are now going to convert raw rations into food at a rate of 1.3 per hour, equivalent to 2.6 food rations per hour, because I think it's uh, 1 to 2 conversion rates. Lovely. And raw food will only last for about another seven hours. Yet yeah, we're running desperately low on food. That's fine. Momentarily, we will have new hunters coming in. And uh, in a moment, yeah, the Book of Laws. We might need to introduce a new law about some food rationing, I'd say. That might be a very, very good idea indeed. Because we've got a lot of people coming in right now. We've got a good, healthy stockpile of wood and steel and raw food. But... That wood's not going to last for very long, to be perfectly honest. Yeah, that's going to go down over just like a couple of days. So we need to make sure we use that wood to construct something that lets us get more wood out of, say, these here frozen trees. Because they don't seem to have a number on them, so I'm sure it'll all be 100% fine. And the game is flagging survivors to us, so yeah, I need to research a beacon and use that to basically get more survivors as possible. So we're going to need more people to survive. We can't reproduce because, you know, we're only playing over like a few days or whatever. Time is just ticking by that slowly. So, what we need now is five workers are available. Okay, we need basically to get as many people as possible doing that. I've got plenty of wood for the time being, so I'm going to take... Ooh... Apparently children could be tasked with gathering wood. That's it's kind of less safe than I was planning, to be honest. But maybe, like... I mean, it's not a long journey. Okay. I'm going to bring five workers off here in order that I can have those guys hunting. And the rest of my children are going to go and work at gathering wood. Just because they just need to step out there. They're not going to be away from the heater for long. There's, like, there's not much there. It's pretty safe pretty safe. So you guys are now going to go hunting. Hunters will depart to gather raw food. Ten of them. Lovely. So hopefully they will now go in a moment as soon as they get over to the hunter's hut. That is absolutely fine. And off they go. Lovely. Efficiency was... I swear some people just went in there and it just flashed up efficiency for a second. So hopefully in a moment they will be on their way. Nice. And hunters. Yep. Ten out of ten. Marvellous. You guys are... Ah. It's the end of the day, that's why they're not hunting right now. Okay, that's going to cause some level of problem, but luckily, raw food is now... Ah, yes, good. The raw food is now being cooked, so it's going to last an awful, awful lot longer. This is a good thing, and you guys are... Ah, you're not cooking right now, because, yeah, no one's actually working, because it's rest time. But hopefully, we've got enough food to keep at least some people going. And, uh, looks like we've got time for... Ah, a quest. So... Some people really, really want some shelter. Now, I could say we'll just set up some tents, and as a result, I need to provide shelter for half of our people in two days. And if you don't, discontent will go nuts. But if you do, hope will go up. Or I could say, I am not one for half measures, and promise to house everyone in two days. I doubt I have enough wood for that. So I'm just going to commit to half of people 
for now. So we're just going to say that right now. And we're going to start work on... Actually, I wonder if people will build during the night. They might be wanting to build during rest time if they're literally building, you know, shelters for themselves. So let's see. We've got... 10 wood will build me some tents for 10 people. Alternatively, we've got... Ah. A bunkhouse. Way more on the expensive side, but... We've actually got ourselves, yeah, the same number of people, but they're actually protected from the elements. But that's going to take some steel. And we don't have that much steel. Okay, how about we have one bunkhouse, just for the sake of saying, hey, wouldn't it be absolutely flipping lovely if, you know, some people who got, say, sick would actually have somewhere to go? That'd be flipping nice, wouldn't it? So I'll have one bunkhouse on, say, just right there. Lovely. And then we'll just have some tents, because they're only 10 wood apiece and we've got plenty of wood. Sorry guys, we can't actually afford to have, like, you know, proper stuff yet. And if I just do that, then that will be enough for half of people to have homes, and that will be a starting point. Now, are you guys going to build that now by any chance? Are you actually... Yes, they are willing to construct during their actual rest time. Lovely. And what have we got over here? More discussion. Wisdom of the crowd. Captain, a word of advice. People usually look to the quickest solutions, not the best one. You don't have to agree on everything they ask. If you fix a problem your way, it's fine. But if you fail, you have to deal with the consequences. Fine, just letting me know that, yeah, I can do things in a say half-assed way. As long as I, you know, do the bare minimum and people are roughly satisfied, that's okay. So steel wreckage there. We're into rest time and soon people will go to sleep. You actually... Ah! Actually, building in the evening during rest time is a great idea because people won't work in terms of going and doing jobs, but they will build during the evening. So potentially getting people to throw up some shelter in the evening will be a very, very good thing indeed because before they go to bed tonight, all of this will be done. Oh, yes, and that should hopefully mean hope will just jump up. Beautiful. So two main objectives fulfilled uh, and one controversial decision. Dear, oh, flipping dear. But as soon as all this is done, here we are. So inhabitants... Okay, we've got... Ah, good! They did decide that some of the children were allowed to live inside the bunkhouse. That's very, very good. Only, like, you know, some of them. Obviously, we couldn't fit all the children. Even if we put nothing but children here, we'd still have a third of the children without home there. And the shelter promise has been fulfilled. Hope goes up. Discontent goes down. Because everyone likes having a little bit of a place to live. Admittedly, half of the society still has to live outside. But screw that half of society. So, we've got some basics going on here. We've got hunters ready to go out hunting who will gather up to 15 raw food a day. 15 raw food a day corresponds to... Ooh. Only corresponds to, like, I think, 30 food rations. And we ideally need 80. That's a concern. Right, over to the Book of Laws here. We need to find a solution to that problem. So, yeah, down in the food situation. Food additives. So, we could add sawdust to meals to make them more filling, if not exactly tasty or healthy. That will decrease hope and cause discontent, and people eating sawdust meals can fall ill. I'm not convinced that's a particularly good idea. Okay, what about soup? So, a blueprint for soup. Uh, signing will sign decrease hope and uh, cause discontent, and it will cause discontent, but it won't cause sickness. So that's kind of the halfway measure. So we can cook soup instead of full meals to feed more people with the same amount of raw food. Given we literally don't have enough food to go around right now, I think that's probably a good idea. We can turn it off later. It's clearly just an option I set in the cookhouse. So I'm going to sign that. We're not going to eat sawdust, but we are going to start eating a lot of soup. Sorry. So, hang on. Yeah, I can produce 10 food rations from 5 raw food. Or if I go over to soup... I can produce 13 from 5. Yeah, sorry guys, we are now actually uh, producing nothing but soup. We are just a soup kitchen. Like, literally, it's this or die in the icy apocalypse. So, hopefully you're not going to be too annoyed. Now, what else do we want to potentially build here? And also, how much do we have? We should have plenty of time for the generator for the time being. Oh yeah, we've got 191 on the old coal storage. We should be fine. Right, construction. What else do we need to have? We've got, we've got construction for some people here. In terms of health, if people start getting sick, we could toss up a medical post. That requires 25 wood and also specialists to be sent to work there. So that would be fine, but I don't think that's urgent. We've already got a cookhouse and a hunter's hut. That's good. I need a workshop and I need my specialists to start working on that right now. So I'm going to build that and see if people are actually willing to get on that right flipping now. So that's fine. Come out of that. Are you guys willing to build that immediately? Hopefully you flipping are. Damn, I hate soup. All my life it's been thin, gruel and promises. Well, you know what? 
If you'd like to leave and try your luck out here, you're more than flipping welcome, all right? Anything to calm the growling stomach. There we go, Elizabeth. I like you. You're the one who's flipping getting it. You should all be flipping glad, all right? We've got from literally nothing at the end of one day, you've got yourself cooked food, you've got yourself, admittedly it's just soup, but still, it's a warming meal, you've got yourself a working generator and heat, and half of you have got flipping houses or kind of tents. I suppose like technically like an eighth of you have houses and then three eighths have tents and then half of you just kind of sleep huddled up next to the generator, but that's fine and we have got the workshop working. Nice. Now, with the workshop operational we can now start actually doing some more interesting stuff in terms of tech, so add some new research here. I need to assign specialists here to define how fast stuff's going to be researched, but there's quite a bit of tech going on, which I do quite like. And obviously we need to keep funneling more wood into the workshop to actually get up to the next tiers of technology. But for the time being, now we need to choose what to select. So if we want more people, a beacon would be good. Because then we can send out scouts, they can actually find, you know, good survivors and bring them to our city. Lovely. They can also spot incoming groups of people, oh dear, potentially the raiders in this game, but also changing weather. Because yeah, uh, minus 20 is not that cold. It's going to get a lot colder potentially. Now what can we do here? Steam hub. Ah! Small heat zone outside of generator range. Now I assume how I read that is I need to spend 10 wood to research that. And then once I've researched that it takes 20 steel to build a little steam hub. So that might be useful as we start expanding outwards. But let's not worry about that for now. If I run out of coal on the surface I can use a coal thumper anywhere I want to create a new coal pile. That could be bloody useful. Faster gathering just through better tools and methods. Ooh. That is tempting. People gather everything faster. But I think the one I really want is, yeah, Hunter's Hut upgrade. For 10 wood, better snowshoes, enhanced camouflage, Hunters will actually manage to bring home more raw food. That's what we need. Let's stabilise the situation. There are no buildings ready to research this technology. Are you sure? Oh, it's because I haven't actually assigned anyone. Uh, I haven't actually assigned my specialists to do this. Uh, so my engineers, uh, my specialists need to be assigned to that. So, okay. What are my specialists doing right now? Yeah, right now uh, there's none idle. So I need to figure out what my specialists are doing and uh, basically reassign them somewhere. I think I have my specialists working somewhere over here-ish. Here we are. I had like engineers, 15 of them working over there. So good news, guys. Five of you get to stop doing that and instead need to start working over here. And sadly, children are not allowed to work inside the workshop. So hunter set upgrade. Start work on that. Kaboom, lovely. So obviously they won't work on that now because it's rest time, so they're just going to go to sleep, and probably most people have, apart from the people who are just chilling out over here next to the fire, but that's okay. That's fine. They're, they're still doing all right. They're better than they would be doing otherwise. This is, I just like the fact you're building a little city, and then you get to build like little roads out from it if you want to. I think that's actually really, really down nice. Oh, you're going to huddle together, the people who don't actually get, you know, flipping shelter. Sorry about that. We might build some shelter for you like next time. So I'm guessing people who live in like tents are less likely to get sick, right? That presumably makes sense. Hang on, go over here. So uh, yeah, thinly insulated sleeping place or a bunkhouse. Protect from the weather. So perfect world, we'd want bunk houses for literally everyone, but that's going to eat into wood and steel really, really fast. So we can't afford to do that right now. Ah, we've got some sickness. It's the people who are being forced to sleep outside. They're getting sick. Yeah, that kind of makes sense that the people who are sleeping outside are getting sick. But we've got the generator here. Bloody hell, guys, come on. Right, okay, we need to build a little medical tent. How much is that actually going to cost me? Health, medical post, 25 wood. We'll get that in really quickly, because I've got a load of children just dragging in wood from over here, and there's still 80. So that'll be 100% fine. <laughs> oh dear, I may possibly be a monster. I'm sorry about that, if so. Uh, right. What else are we going to need here? Because are we going to need, like, a load of wood, or is it worth investing in more advanced stuff? Like, say, a beacon still requires wood. We're going to be needing wood, I think, for some time yet. And indeed, wood can build shelters. So, for example, a sawmill might actually be bloody useful. That might be a useful bit of actual research to do. Let's just speed up time a little bit here until everyone wakes up. Everyone should hopefully be waking up momentarily. And yeah, the coal is being eaten. We've still got a day's worth of coal, though. We should be all right for the time being. It's still rest time. I think about 8 p.m. everyone starts working. Speed things up a little bit. Lovely. Everyone is now back to work, including now a whole bunch of... Oh, there's the little children. I kind of feel bad that we've gone from the children will just do safe jobs inside the cookhouse to the children will now go out into the snow, but only like the not particularly deep snow. So I feel like I may have been a bit of a bastard in that regard, but it's absolutely fine and hope seems pretty low right now. 
Seems pretty bloody low indeed. But wood's coming in fast. These guys are gathering wood. Ah, uh, yes, six per hour. We'll have wood very, very quickly indeed. The further away wood, like, that's only for, like, adults. The children are only doing, like, the close-by wood. I think we've actually got just about enough. No one's idle right now. Okay. Let's get that medical post down. We need a medical post. That could be close by to the tent, so it's close by to actual, you know, people and whatever. Though, actually, I need to get uh, some people off their day-to-day -day duties over here in order to... You're already down to ten. Right, let's get that down to five. I want five people down over here building this thing. And this building is... Ah. The reason this building has currently got the little no entry sign is because we are officially out of raw food. So until we get more raw food in, we've now only got 26 rations. Ideally, we'd want 80. So, and over in our storage thing, how much can we actually hold? We could hold, we could hold three bloody hundred. Right. Meanwhile, over in our lovely, lovely workshop, yeah, that upgrade to the Hunter's Hut is going to be done in four hours. The Hunters are hopefully, yeah, they're already out there in the world, but they're not going to be back for 24 hours. A hunting trip takes 24 hours to do. So... This is not looking good. People are going to get a little bit on the hungry side, but that's fine. Yeah, the technology is underway. Do we actually have a new law that we could pass at this point? Are we ready for another law? Yes, we are. Okay, I think we're ready for another law. Ooh, why do I think I'm not going to like what the alternative food source is? Because I'm going to guess that it's going to be... Yeah. Kind of thought so. <laughs> you can use corpses as raw food at the cookhouse. <laughs> okay, the children are not going to enjoy that. They're not, and I don't think we're going to say yes. Oh, blimey. Okay, it's going to uh, raise discontent and lower hope dramatically if people find out what you did. Well, I'm sure the small children who will be cooking their parents will be very discreet about it. No, let's let's not do that one. Let's not worry about that. <laughs> let's find something less monstrous. Yeah, alternatively, we could have ourselves a cemetery where we can lay the dead to rest with dignity. Alternatively, corpse disposal, store dead bodies outside of the heat zone, cover them with snow, frost will halt decay, an efficient solution, no disease risk from unburied bodies. Ah, we need to have a burial solution, otherwise the dead bodies will cause disease. Okay, what about over here with child labour? Yeah, if we wanted to, we could say the children have to do all jobs, but people aren't so desperately keen on that. Let's not say that, that's probably not a good idea. Okay, alternatively we've got... Ah, over in the medical room here, we have got... Sustain life. We can't cure the gravely ill, but we can at least keep them alive. We'll not risk crippling people with radical treatments. So gravely ill people are not treated. They will crowd medical posts, and they will remain a burden. Or we could try radical treatments where... Ah, I see. Basically, we try some really, really extreme stuff. We either manage to fix people up, or potentially... Actually, it would increase hope. But it can cripple people for life. Hmm. I'm going to sign radical treatments. The doctors have my blessing to really go out of their way to try and make stuff work. And hopefully some people will come over here and build this medical post soon. At least we will be saving lives. Well, some of them. That's the attitude. That's a good attitude, right? Flipping there. Right, we've got tons of coal. We've got wood coming in, albeit not that much wood. Because these guys are gathering. Yeah, that wood's going to run dry pretty soon. So I need to start working on a sawmill to get wood in from over here, or probably over here is the closest. Yeah, I need to get a sawmill going on over there, just because otherwise we're in trouble. So what's this up here? Steam cores. I don't even know. Oh, wait, hang on. No, steam core is the thing where you lay a warm thing out in the world, because yeah, if we go over to the heat vision right now, you can see there, everything's fine over here, but we do have problems that while people are away from the steam core, especially people have to go miles away, they spend a lot of time being chilly, so they might theoretically get sick. And someone wants my attention over here for something. Hello! What do you want? Oh dear. A child has been injured in a work accident. That's unfortunate. It was careless, but that's just how children are. Scold him all. Give the kid a day off. It's just one kid. We'll give him a day off. That increases the amount of hope. Alright, we'll be okay with just 14 people gathering wood rather than 15. Probably anyway. How's the hunting situation going by the way? The hunting situation is... Oh, they're not going to be back for bloody ages. Although on the plus side we have now got, yeah, the hunter's hut has actually been upgraded and now we can get new research in play. Good. Probably what we need as a priority is the ability to get more wood. Actually, what's a, what's a boiler? Allows us to use boilers to heat workplaces during working hours. So we can make workplaces warm. 
which might be a good solution to the steam thing. Rather than actually getting those steam hubs, we could just build like a factory out close by and just use boilers to keep it toasty. Yeah, that's probably a better idea. I'm going to build a sawmill right now. We're going to get that in production. It'll take seven hours to do. And then you can turn frozen trees into usable material, producing up to 80 wood per workday. That's pretty good. That seems like a good deal to me. So you guys get on with that. Then while we're building the sawmill and whatever out by some frozen trees, we'll research boilers and that'll keep the sawmill toasty. Admittedly, it'll be a bit of a cold commute, but other than that, it should be absolutely flipping fine. Okay, and we're still in work time right now, so stuff is still coming in. And this should hopefully be... Yep, good. The medical post is in production right now. There's only three sick. We've got plenty of wood, so probably if we do have people just floating around who can actually get on with, like building stuff, probably the best thing we can do now is build a couple of extra bunk houses. Let's get some bunk houses in production. That is... We've got the steel. We've got the steel. I'm going to build two more bunk houses. So now, most of society is indeed okay for the time being. It's, it's going to be fine. We're going to actually get some people actually inside shelters. Though, we've now run out of space immediately around the actual generator. So from now on, if we want to actually expand outwards, then we're going to have to expand outwards along roads, and we're going to need some other way of keeping these guys toasty. Speaking of which, we have got ourselves... Lovely. One little guy. Apparently we've got five... Apparently we've got five available. Okay, that's good. Let's just get this place nice and... Actually, do we need... Much of we need, like, all five. I think it's fine to only have three. We don't exactly have a sickness problem right now. I'm just going to have a few people doing that. Apparently we've got one child. Ah, that's because the child was injured. That's fine. And for my specialist, I've got two idle there. Okay, well if we've got idle children there, do you just want to get on with just working here for the time being? Just get on with gathering the wood. Though actually we're into rest time now. Fine. Now this should be better though. Hang on. I'm guessing potentially the doctors are going to refuse to actually heal the sick for the time being. So that's good. Though they will actually build these shelters. I know people are willing to build these shelters during their rest time. So, we'll have a bunch of new bunkhouses coming in. So now the people who kind of got in the, uh, the tents early, they're probably going to regret at this point. Because the people who were willing to spend one night outside, they now get flipping proper bunkhouses, which is lovely. And yes, indeed, we've got some children in there. We've got some engineers in there. Good, 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 good. So we've got ourselves the beginning of a little town here. But now if we want to expand outwards, we're going to need some... Uh, yeah, we're going to need some roads or whatever. But at this point, we're almost entirely out of actual food. Oh, hello. We've got... Ah, sick and treatment. Good. So, as it turns out, the doctors are totally willing to actually do some healing during the evening. Well, that's just flipping marvellous. So, who else is sick right now? I assume you're going to the... Yep, we literally just saw you going into the tent. So, we've got three people being treated, albeit they're being, um, they're being a little bit radically treated. <laughs> So hopefully they're all going to be fine. How's this place doing, by the way? How are the patients right now? You are going to be... Ah, two days. It's going to be two days before you recover. Fine, so he doesn't have a home, and also he's hungry. A lot of people are going to be hungry, unfortunately. Until the hunters get back, we're literally out of food at this point. So, hmm, maybe I should have actually put sawdust in the food to make it kind of be a bit more filling. No, leave it for the time being. The soup is fine, alright? We're just producing soup for the time being, alright? Everyone's just gonna have to make bloody do with some soup. The hunters will be back soon. We can make soup out of whatever it is they've brought. And hopefully, they might bring up to 20. If we're very lucky, the hunters will bring back a flipping load of food. Because we have actually researched this whole potential up to 20 day. Though it looks like potentially it needs to, yeah, they need to have come home to get the new equipment, which doesn't even make sense. Now, if we were going to expand outwards in a direction towards a sawmill... Where would we want to go? What's closest? I'd say we probably want to expand out in this direction. There's a flipping ton of wood around here. And if we expand in that direction, there's also conveniently a coal deposit over there as well. Together with a bunch of wooden crates we haven't touched yet and some steel wreckage as well. So I'd say building a sawmill out here in this direction might be just the sort of thing we'd like to do. But of course, we need to actually let the research take place. And right now, people are not researching because it's rest time. So, unless anything else new comes out, we're under control for the time being. Speed up time until it's time to work tomorrow. Two more people have got sick. Oh, three more people have got sick. And five people are in treatment. Let's get to work. Look, just get back to work, okay? I'm very sorry that it's time for you to actually just... Oh, choice. 
Working children. After a recent accident, a mother refused to send her child to work. She's afraid he will also get injured. We could let it slide. Wouldn't that be unfair? Ooh. I mean, either option could actually make, like, discontentment go up. Because it is unfair that one mother can just say, my child doesn't have to work when all the others do. No, sorry, he has to go to work for the sake of fairness, because everyone has to work. Yeah, that's actually made hope go... Oh, no, that's made hope go down. Oops. Though I'm guessing discontent would have gone up otherwise. Uh, is there actual space here? Are we at capacity? I suspect we might be at capacity right now, because people are getting sick. I'm just going to lower the number of engineers here and just increase the number of specialists over here. So good news, there's now more people here, and hopefully you can actually get some more treatment here. Everyone gets back to flipping work, and please tell me you're actually going to bring a really, really... Oh, the hunters are almost home. Nice. When the hunters get home, please bring back 15 raw food. 15 raw food can correspond to like 50, 60 meals of soup. That means almost everyone gets a nice big bowl of soup today. That'd be flipping marvellous. And the research on the sawmill continues as well, because we need plenty of wood. And what did we get? Oh, we only got 10. Okay, that's not so bad. But now the next trip could actually get up to 20. And this place is now going to start converting that 10 into, oh dear. Right. It's not going to be great, is it? It's going to be, yeah, every five produces 13. So it's going to be 26 rations of food. So the hungriest people can eat, but... I don't dare build a beacon to get more flipping survivors in right now. We literally don't have the capacity to feed the people we flipping got. I might need a second hunter's hut, in fact, actually. Getting another ten people on hunting duties. Oh, yeah. We're completely out of raw food. The cook shop is not doing a good job. You know what? I need to get... Children need to get off this job. Because, quite frankly, you don't need to be at max efficiency. Just two children working in the kitchen. Everyone else needs to get back on wood gathering and i think there's some space over here yeah sorry you go a little bit further than the others that's uh, your punishment for like not being a good cook or something uh you too there you go lovely steel wreckage has been depleted so that means we should now have a whole bunch of people who previously were working on like some steel wreckage app this steel wreckage over here so now i've got a huge number of people oh wood crates have been depleted too right so we're starting to deplete the kind of the raw resources that are just sitting around um actually there's loads of steel wreckage here uh, sure. Let's get a whole bunch of people. Actually, you know what? Children can... Oh, steel wreckage probably isn't good for children. Let's get the children on these wooden crates. You guys get over there. 8.4 an hour. Just keep stockpiling coal. Coal is flipping important. Without that, we all die. Okay? Sawmill's been researched. That's very, very good indeed. It probably wouldn't hurt to be able to see what's going on with... Yeah. I'm going to upgrade this actual building. Let's get that underway, because then we'll be able to see what the next bunch of upgrades actually do. But now, we've got a new building. We've got ourselves the sawmill. Uh, so, resources, sawmill. The sawmill costs 10 woods to make. That's fine. We're getting in wood pretty quickly right now. So, sawmill workers cut the felled frozen trees, supplying up to 80 wood per workday. Now, I'm guessing... I'm guessing this building actually is going to need to be on a street, because generally buildings need to be on a street. We need 10 wood here... And yeah, not adjacent to a street. So any building must be on a street. And if I build that over like here, that would cover a huge amount of trees. Really, really nice indeed. Okay, don't worry about that for now. Instead, we need to build a street going out in that direction. So street going out over... That goes over to here. That's a pretty good angle right there. Yeah, I'm going to build minus six wood, minus seven woods, and you can just slightly tweak the angle if you want to, because yeah, it would just kind of calculate a new street going over here. Let's just go for 11 in this direction. Oh, I don't have... yeah, 11. Right, that street is now going to be built going over in that direction. Someone needs to actually build the darn thing, so who's building that? Possibly a child is currently building that, I'm not sure. Uh, okay, actually we don't need... Lower this just so someone can get on with building the street. Because the street needs to be built. Or is the street auto-built? I think the street might just be... It might just be auto-built. I'm not sure if the street's already uh, built. We're out of wood right now anyway. We just need 10 wood for a sawmill. Which quite frankly feels generous. Given we need uh, flipping 15 just for a little gathering post. Can this now be built here? Is this now acceptable? Uh, no, street is under construction. So the street does not exist yet. Someone needs to actually build the street. And I think... Yes, good. Someone is actually doing that now. 
So straight out towards the new site of our sawmill is now actually happening. But it's going to be cold. It's going to be very, very cold indeed. And hope is going down due to one forlorn decision. Oh dear. Oh, and I think that's my hunting party uh, leaving the local area. Lovely. So they presume you have to, like, you know, climb an ice wall to actually get out of the valley. That's okay. We've got sick, but five people are in treatment. They might be permanently crippled by my radical treatment options. I don't really know. We'll have to bloody see about that. Soon the path will be done, and one person is now officially hungry. And a coal pile has been depleted, too. Okay. Well, that's fine. We've got more coal over here. So, some more people join up with that. What else do we have? We're running low on supplies here. There's more people running over there. You get on that. I've still got four people available. Do we have any more wood floating around? Yes. Yes, we do. Uh, you get on that. Uh, children, there's one available. You get on there too. We need some more wood coming in because wood builds a lot of stuff. Though, as soon as we've got the sawmill down, we should be all right. Is that road done? I think that road's done now. Good. Excellent. Keep the wood coming in. Build a sawmill. Right flip in here. And we can't build too close to the forest, but I could build to... Okay, where's okay? That's pretty good. That's technically not allowed because it would be on top of the street. Looks like this would be the best location. This covers quite a few flipping trees. So, we're going to build that out there. The problem we've got, however, is once we've built that, it's going to be cold. So I need to research boilers in order to... I know you're hungry. I know you're flipping hungry. But if you're hungry, go and eat. There is literally still some food rations. Not much. I would hurry it up. We are very, very low on the old, you know, like, soup right now. So if you're hungry, go sort it out. Good, that number's dropping. Hopefully people are willing to just, like, you know, just eat snow. Eat some snow. It's fine. That's a good starting point. We've got some people sick. They're in treatment. We've got some people hungry. They're going to eat. But we're now completely out of food. Food is just gone at this point. I think, oh dear, the weather is changing. That concerns me. I suspect it might be about to get a lot flipping colder. If it gets a lot flipping colder, we're in trouble. But yeah, go into the temperature map. Problem is, this sawmill is chilly. People are going to get sick here. That's why we need the boiler technology as soon as possible. Over to the Book of Laws. I've got an idea. Unfortunately, yes, yes, yes. Uh, that's been signed. We need emergency shifts. So now, sometimes we have to concentrate on the task at hand at the cost of everything else or die. So now, basically, I can, though it does actually lead to discontent, I can force people to work 24 hours. Which is what I'm going to do. And the people who have to work 24 hours are, in fact, these guys. So you... Get back to work, please. Lovely. So now the engineers are now researching the new stuff as quickly as flipping possible. Just get on that as quick as you're flipping like. Because we need boilers done in time for the first shift here. Yeah, right now this place is currently not operable. And we can employ normal workers there. And we need to get some people in there as soon as possible. But until tomorrow morning, they won't try and work there. The temperature is chilly. That's fine. Boilers will be done sooner rather than later. Because as soon as this is done, that's going to be done in two hours. Then we get boilers done. Then by the time anyone tries to work here in the morning, we'll actually be in a really, really good situation to have that building be nice and toasty. Oh dear. The hunger situation is getting bad. Like, really bad. Um, Over to the hunter's hut here. They're still 12 hours out. I think we might need to potentially build a new hunter's hut and then just heat that with a boiler as well. Yeah, I suspect we need a new second group of hunters. We need secondary hunters with more people getting out there. We do not have the food right now. We don't have enough wood. Okay, that's fine. As soon as the new sawmill brings in some wood, we'll build a secondary hunter's hut, but that's going to mean less people. Ooh. Oh dear. Right, okay. That's now level one. Add new research. So now, actually, what have we actually got that's, uh, that's brand new here? Ah, you can't look at that till it's available anyway. We could get coal mining going on, which is going to produce a hell of a lot of uh, coal, obviously. We've got sawmill improvements to produce more of that. A wall drill. What does that do? Ooh. Okay. How exactly is... Oh, I guess technically, yeah, if there's like a big glacier, there would have been trees under it once. So apparently I can now get wood just out of the wall. That's nice. A hot house. Ooh. Okay. A hot house producing up to 30 raw food a day. Yeah. This. This seems good. That seems very good. Okay. Boilers for now. Let's get the wood in. That's going to take seven hours, and you're going to do that overnight. Then tomorrow, you're going to work in the hot house. 
And then that's more food. Okay, that's a better solution than a second group of hunters because the hunters seem unreliable. And the hothouse can produce up to 30, whereas the hunters can only produce up to 20. So some veg from the hothouse, though admittedly... <laughs> I'm not convinced it's going to be that hot, but screw it, we'll give it a go. Discontent is rising and hope is falling. People do not like this. And the temperature's dropping. The temperature's going nuts. Oh dear. Okay. So the temperature is now down to minus 40. Meaning there's now a much greater chance of people actually getting sick. Yeah, there's now a high risk of getting sick and a small risk of becoming gravely ill. There's going to be hypothermia, frostbite... This is where we need those steam things, really. But I'm sorry, you guys have to gather wood. There's just no option. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it would appear that we are out of food and it's minus 40 degrees C and I don't know whether the hunters are going to arrive in time or the technology is going to come through in time. So we will pick this up tomorrow to see if I can salvage the society or if everyone's going to die by freezing to death. Probably the latter, if I had to guess. So we will pick this up then. But in the meantime, I've been Johnson. There's been many a true nerd and this has been Frostpunk. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Oh no! Oh dear! America's decided they do not like us! Just want to finish off China. I can die happily. Well, not happily because there's nuclear fire involved, but moderately happily. There we go! I've just started... Oh god. The Earth was fun, wasn't it? We can all agree, the Earth was great.